ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் டுடே வி டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த டாபிக் ஆஃப் லீனியர் எக்ஸ்பெண்டிச்சர் சிஸ்டம் தீஸ் ஆர் மாடல்ஸ் விச் டீல்ஸ் வித் குரூப் ஆஃப் கமோடிட்டீஸ் ரேதர் தேன் இண்டிவிஜுவல் கமோடிட்டீஸ் சச் குரூப்ஸ் வென் ஆடட் ஈல்டு டோட்டல் கன்சியூமர் எக்ஸ்பெண்டிச்சர் லீனியர் எக்ஸ்பெண்டிச்சர் சிஸ்டம் ஆர் தஸ் ஆஃப் கிரேட் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இன் அக்ரிகேட் எக்கனாமெட்ரிக் மாடல்ஸ் where they provide desirable disaggregation of the consumption function one of the earliest linear expenditure model was suggested by r schon in economic journal 1954 the linear expenditure system are usually formulated on the basis of utility function from which demand functions are derived in the normal way by maximization of the utility function subject to a budget constraint respect The approach of linear expenditure system is the same as that of models based on indifference curves. However, LES differ in that they are applied to group of commodities between which no substitution is possible, while the indifference curves approach is basically designed for handling commodities which are substitutes. The very notion of an indifference curve is the substitutability of the commodities concerned. Actually, the indifference map of a LES would appear as in the figure implying the non-substitutability of group of commodities. The utility function is additive that is total utility U is the sum of the utilities derived from the various group of commodities. For example, assume that all the commodities brought by the consumer are grouped in five categories. A. Food and beverage. B. Clothing. C. Consumer durables. D. Household operation expenses. E. Services, that is transport and entertainment, etc. The total utility is U equal to sigma U or U equal to U of A plus U of B plus U of C plus U of D plus U of E. This is indifference map for complementary goods. Additivity implies that the utilities of the various groups are independent. That is, there is no possibility of substitution between the groups A, B, C, D and E. In linear expenditure system, the commodities brought by the consumers are grouped in broad categories so as to be compatible with the attitude postulate of the consumer. utility function thus each group must include all substitute and complements in this way substitution between groups is ruled out but substitution can occur within each group